This connector, a little more tricky than the other connector. The same process as in terms of crimping, which you gotta make sure that when you're putting this in, putting the, the ends that have been crimped, crimped in here, you gotta make sure the orientation is correct. I'm following the same pattern as I did here. I'm actually running it, or actually terminating it to the coil of wire because these ends are actually gonna go underneath the, the, the winter wiper motor cowling, the cover. The rest of the wire is actually gonna get run into the engine compartment, down through the firewall, back inside. So, without further ado, I'm going to focus on getting this guy stripped just enough, just like this guy, just enough, probably just about an inch and a half give it a nice tug and then the same thing before I want to expose maybe just the this much of wire that way when you're when you're putting it into the crimp it has enough wire to grab onto plus it's going past into the box it's a tiny little box on that crimp that's the most important part that's that's the way you're going to guarantee that you're going to have a good connection this is the box I'm talking about it's very similar to the other crimp and the top of this box is the top or the what you're going to be aligning to inside this connector and this way this way these these crimps the top goes to where the the connector goes when it's made it together so when you actually push it in you're pushing it in this way so you can see the top of that box is going directly in there Maybe just a little bit more. So same as before, I'm going to be using these needle nose to essentially hold this wire in by the insulation. That way when I go to actually crimp it with, with the crimper, it's not going to jiggle around, move around to the point where I just lose my mind. Then I'm going to be putting it into the larger one. Remember there's two sizes here you want to make sure that you are putting the crimps that actually go over the wire into the smaller area give it a nice push and then actually I like going to the the low the smaller setting and giving it a push there too that way you have a really you have a solid connection between the wire and the crimp lastly just to make sure it actually fits into the connector I'm going to take these needle nose again and just make sure that the squeeze the sides make sure that there's nothing extra sticking out sometimes the top of these crimps like to flay out they, they do not get along when you actually push it into the connector so this can this guy is looking good I'm gonna test it out on this guy remember the square pieces align with the top of this guy and you want to make sure you're doing it correct orientation in this case I've chosen to go black red then then white so I'm going to be putting it in the same place and just like before you're likely going to hear a nice audible click that was a nice audible click this guy is not going anywhere fast forward I'm going to do these other ones we're going to give it a quick test at the end all these sub assemblies are then will be ready to go into the Jeep into the project in our next video so stay tuned right now though I'm going to finish this One thing I also like doing, just as a note, as a backup here, not a bad idea to actually give this a tug once it's all crimped together. The worst thing that you want this to, that you want to happen 
is you get this inserted all the way in, you give it a tug, and you pull out the wire. I've already done that once. It is possible with any type of connector that kind of snaps in. They always design it so you can kind of stick a sharp tool down into here, depending on which which position you're in. You can push a tool in here. I actually use, I have a little dental pick here that I like using. I push it down into this cavity. You can kind of wiggle it around to get to the point where there's a little plastic piece that clips over the edge. You just push it over and you can pull pull that, uh, that crimp back. Try again. I recommend trying a new crimp. Don't use the same one over again if you do run into that problem.